This is Doofy McFetter Sketch, and we're back to Hugh Grant, Notting Hill. Well, this one is all about Hugh Grant being a uh, a nobody meeting celebrity Julia Roberts, and it's a love story between fan and the celebrity. It hardly ever happens, but it did in this movie, and it's real romantic. Is it funny, though? Eh, a little bit here and there, but I wouldn't go in just for the funniness. Bridget Jones' Diary. Oh, didn't like it that much. Yeah, it's got Renee Zellweger, and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of hers. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not really a fan of uh, people reading out of a diary. I just didn't get this one. Kind of annoyed me. Had a lot of stereotypes. Irritating if you're a man. If you're a girl, maybe you'd watch it from a different perspective. But from a guy, I hated this so much. Four weddings and a funeral. Well, what can I say? It had four weddings. And a funeral. There you go. Uh, I watched this one very recently. And, uh, let's see. Well, most of the weddings uh, don't have too much to do with the actual plot. Uh, it's mainly about Hugh Grant and Andy McDowell and how uh, they meet at all of these weddings but never really get together. And how about how everything fails and screws up at these weddings. Basically, it's a wedding nightmare. It's something you'd never, ever want to happen at a wedding. And it just puts all of them all together in one wedding. Well, in all four of the weddings, there's a disaster in them. Several disasters. And it can be quite funny. But it has aged a little bit, and compared to some of the other more raunchy stuff, it doesn't really hold up like it used to when it came out. Sense and Sensibility. Yuck! This one was atrocious. It's an aristocratic movie, and it's got a whole bunch of English dialogue, and it's all so boring. So goddamn boring. I mean, it's just, uh... It's not fun to watch, let's say that. It's it's depressing. Not even uh, Severus Snape can make this movie good. Can't happen. It, it just sucks. Hate it so much. Nine months. Well, there's nine months. The nine months of the... Oh, wait, hold on, we did this one. It was in Jeff Goldblum's thing. We can skip that one. About a Boy. This one's, uh, it stars Hugh Grant, and, uh, it's got Rachel Weisz in it. And she actually has a kid, and he doesn't. He pretends to have a kid. He's got, uh, some other, some other dude playing his kid. So, uh, there's a little bit of comedy to see how that all works out. Of course, it fails, but then uh, Hugh Grant uses his charm to eventually get Rachel Weisz back, and it all works out. Bada boy. It's okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, Small Tom Crooks. Oh, wait, I think we did this one already. Let me just check. Oh, yep, we did. Woody Allen. So we're done with you, Grant. What do I think of the dude? Well, he's got a uh, sort of a sense of humor. He's okay, I guess. And uh, some of his movies are halfway decent. Not the hugest fan. He's okay. Hugh Grant. Oh, flipping the page. Let's see. Who's next? It's Gene Hackman. Superman. Well, this one was pretty darn good. Of course, Lex Luthor was played by Gene Hackman. And uh, Christopher Reeve was Superman. 
It's the origin of Superman, which they have tried to do so many times, it's just annoying. They've tried to reboot this series so many times. The first one was good, all the other ones were just yuck. You just redo shit all the time. If you reboot something a million different times, it's never going to be good. It just, it, it isn't. It's just not going to be good. But enough bullshit about the other Superman movies. This one, actually decent. It didn't have the main villains in it. It, it wasn't as good as Superman 2. Because it had way better villains. Superman was a good start off. Good for special effects back in the days. It was pretty good. I liked it. It was a pretty okay movie. It gets a thumbs up. The Firm. We did that one. Enemy of the State. Alright, this is a new one. Uh, Gene Ackman's kind of a villainous guy. And this picture is actually from Enemy of the State. They put that there from that movie. So it's convenient. Enemy of the State also stars Will Smith as the title character. And it's one of those political ones where they're trying to get all this controversy and uh, stuff all figured out. And it's pretty well done. It kept me hooked in uh, for from start to finish. So it's a decent thriller for damn sure. Memorable? Not so much. But it is a good movie for a Friday night. Unforgiven. Let's see. I believe we did this one. Yep. Clint Eastwood did that one already. Get Shorty. Alright. Let's see. What's that? Uh, well, it's also got John Travolta and Danny DeVito in it. It's got some other bitch in it. Oh, yeah. Renee Russo. That's her name. Yeah, it's got all four of them and the late Dennis Farina as the villain. And it's one of those con comedies things where they use this one con to like get a few guys. It's got a little bit of the crime stuff in there, but it's also got comedy, so it's a uh, it's a decent uh, put together. It's all good. It's got some uh, coolness in there for sure. Danny DeVito makes it pretty funny. And John Travolta has his moments in comedy, too, so it's a decent movie. There's a couple of chuckles in there. Superman 2. Well, as I've said, this one has better villains because it's got the three outcast uh, guys from the beginning of the first film, and they're back in it. Oh, wait, hold on. I think we already reviewed Superman. Now that I remember, we did that one already with Marlon Brando. I reviewed that one twice. How about that? I bet the reviews are completely different if you check back on that one. Anyway, Superman 2. Yeah, this one had better villains. And uh, I thought it had a better plot. And Yeah, I just preferred Superman 2 to Superman 1 a whole bunch. And I liked it. And even uh, Lex Luthor came in for a little bit. Just for shits and giggles. What do I think of Gene Hackman? Well, he's old. And he's okay. I mean, he doesn't really stand out the most to me. I mean, he's uh, got some things that make him unique. But uh, I, uh, I don't watch a movie because it's got Gene Hackman. I'll just say that. It's... He's okay. Tom Hanks. Hey, we did two whole people in one whole video. Holy crap. Better quit while I'm ahead. We'll get back to Tom Hanks in the next video. See ya.